Turn away from sin and death, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here as we begin our Lenten journey. This year, I'd like you to focus on the universal call to holiness in the church. Jesus gave us the church as a lasting and uniquely holy means for achieving our eternal salvation. By his suffering, death, and resurrection, he opened for us the way to heaven. Take a moment now and think about what that means. How close are we to God and to godly things? And what is our relationship with the church? We all are made in the image and likeness of God. We are able to radiate his likeness by how we live our lives and give witness in this world. As you listen to the scriptures this Lent, consider these themes. Resistance to temptation, consolation through prayer, and the life-giving sacraments of the church. The first week we hear in Mark's Gospel how Jesus was tempted by Satan in the desert. We experience many temptations and are often deceived into believing that they are the truth. Pray to the Holy Spirit for guidance and clarity of thought when you are in the desert of doubt or confusion. The second week is the account of the transfiguration. Peter, James, and John were taken up on the mountain by Jesus. It is there that Jesus was transfigured, giving consolation and courage to these first apostles. We too can draw courage and hope by remembering how Jesus overcame sin and death for each of us. As the weeks continue, you will hear how the Son of Man came to fulfill the prophecies and establish the church as a means for us to obtain our everlasting salvation. He will rebuild the temple. He is the source of all grace, and when he is lifted up from the earth, he will draw everyone to himself. There are many ways to reignite your sense of holiness this Lenten season. May you make one small resolution to discover the depth and breadth of our eternal church. Blessed Lent to you. By your fasting, almsgiving, and prayer, may you experience his love in a new and lasting way.